Hi, welcome back to Studio Tamara, the Mystical Paintress. Uh, today, I'm wearing my Stevie Nicks shirt. Don't be a lady, be a legend. Um, and we are going to talk about um, the materials that you would need for plein air painting in the field if you go outside. So, I have all my gear over here, and I'm going to straighten the camera out a little. And, sleepy kitty, sleepy kitty. Sleepy kitty. No, he ain't moving, is he? All right, so for plein air painting, first of all, in the winter time, you are going to need hand and toe warmers. These are a necessity. Um, if your feet or your hands get cold, you're done. And that's why often when it's cold, I will wear my furry hat. And I have all of these special jacket car hearts that I wear. I, this is my spring one. I have a winter one. Mary Badges and my fabulous neighbor sews these custom fur hoods on for me because ah, I want to get my hair in the zipper uh, because I love them and they're warm. And anyways, so if you see me out in the winter, I usually also have a scarf and I have a cashmere sweater from Salvation Army, so I don't care if I get paint on it. And I also have some Carhartt um, pants that I wear and muck boots. Muck boots will keep your feet dry. It'll keep you warm. It's awesome. Uh, super awesome person in our group named Lisa. By the way, shout out today to artists. All the artists uh, made these hats for some of the painting retreats. So she has these and brings them and sells them at the events, the Saturday paint out. So there's all kinds of fun stuff here. Anyways, um, so for plein air painting, okay, here is my easel. It's a Soltec easel. It sets up in within seconds. You unfold it. I believe they're seven pounds, nine pounds. I've had this 14 years. It's by far my favorite easel in the world that fast and I'm ready to paint. The board goes here and this opens up like this. Okay, the Soltec legs are telescopic so you can use them on a hill um, and it's just my favorite of all my easels. I have two. I've tried every other kind. This is my favorite. Um, right inside the Soltec you'll see is a palette for your paint. There's somewhere here to store all your brushes. Uh, I recommend brushes with the black wrap at the end so that the sun doesn't put glare in your eyes. I also have palette knife, business card, viewfinder, which has been custom painted black and white so that I could see values. And you hold this up at a scene you can adjust it by board size and you hold it up so you can decide just what scene you want. That's why the olden days they would do this with their hands. Isn't that fun? You need one of these. These are fun. Okay, get plastic though because cardboard gets wet. It gets moisture when it's outside, falls apart. Plastic is, I've had this one 13 years. So, all right, and then your paints. Paints all fit in here too. I put them in the same order that I do in the studio. Isn't that fun? Look at that rainbow of colors. It's so luscious. I just want to paint now. Um, so I use Graham paints because they're walnut based, walnut oil based, so they're much safer. They have less chemicals. So there's that. Okay, so here's my easel. The boards that I bring are masonite boards, and uh, I'm not trying to be an advertisement for companies, but I've done this 14 years, and Soltec by far is my very favorite easel. Um, and Panel Pack, P A N E L P A K dot com, makes these awesome board holders. So you can have two paintings, and you can put them both in there, wet, and travel with them in your car, in your suitcase, anything. So I have several of these in 11, 14, 9 by 12, and 8 by 10 of all three sizes. Um, my um, preference is to use a masonite board rather than a cardboard canvas just because it's more durable as long as you paint the back so it doesn't warp. 
you're good. That's your board. Okay. Um, by the way, I do have all of these supplies also listed in my book on plein air painting, plein air painting tips and tales, memoirs of a Michigan plein air painter. That's me. Um, hey, look, it kind of looks like my palette. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Um, anyway, the cool thing about this book is it has right in here, um, you know, all the supplies. It's laid out, it's written down, um, everything you would need and what for. So if you're interested, this is available on Amazon. You can get it from me. I think it's a great book, but I wrote the book. So of course I think it's a great book. Um, okay. When you're going in the field to paint, when you're getting ready to go out, you've got to travel light. You may be walking miles, okay? So this is my bag. This was my birthday present. I used some of my birthday money from my dad to get this for myself. And it was made. It's the Da Vinci bag. Handmade. It's got my name on it. Tamara. Super cool. I can put my rolled up paint brushes. When I'm done with them, I can roll them up. I can put them right in here on top and snap this. It's freaking awesome. I love this bag. Um, creative journaling, I think I got it from. Anyway, okay, so this is my little book. I always bring this when I'm painting. And this has pictures of places that I've been. And what I do is every time before I do a painting, I will write down the temperature and I'll, oh, there's my dog. And I'll do a quick little study um, of the place and I'll draw it. Sometimes I'll just sketch, but um, usually I will paint them in full with flowers from the area to get an idea. Sometimes I'll do a horizontal and a vertical. Sometimes I'll do several. They just don't look like they work. But this gives you a great idea of what the finished painting will look like. And I have tons of these books. The best part about these books is later on, you get to look through them and you just remember every adventure in this little cute book. It's wonderful. So there's my book. Um, fingerless gloves. Thank you, Mary Badges, for sewing the thumbs on. These are like 13 years old. They're wool. These are fabulous. You have to have them. I recommend wool. Have to have them for outdoor painting. You can tell mine are covered in paint. Um, you put the chemical hand warmer that I showed you right in the glove on top of your hand and on top of your feet, by the way, not on the bottom, okay, for circulation. So I bring a little tin with bird seed because in Kensington, where the Michigan Plain Air Painters paint, um, birds will land on your shoulder, on your palette, on your hands. Um, all my stuff, by the way, fits into my bag. A little can with odorless mineral spirits, some rags. This is an optional thing, but these like baby wipe things help get any paint that might be off your fingers. That is optional, okay? Um, a stain stick, kiss off it's called. This will take paint off anything, your clothes, your car, anything. You get it, the area wet first, you put this stick on there. These are great to have, you gotta have one, gotta have it with you. Mace, I do not recommend plain air painting alone. Whether you're alone or not, get mace. Um, and then I've got some Benadryl in here in case myself or someone gets stung by a bee. I've also got some Badger anti-bug balm for your face. Stuff's pretty awesome. And I've got, always got a big extra tube of white in here. So I got a couple other things from when I taught at Christine's Gallery. Um, rags are always in the bag here. Always rags. Don't need that. I also keep a portable rain jacket of some sort. This one was a gift from Defenders of Wildlife for donating. Um, it folds into like nothing, teeny weeny tiny. It'll fit right in the bottom of the bag there. No problem. So everything fits right in. I also keep an extra hand chemical hand warmer in my bag just in case 
someone in the group forgets theirs or um, okay so when you're done painting you're going to have um, brushes covered in paint and so there's two options I got this at Hobby Lobby even though I'm not a grill advocate of them you can get it anywhere um, and this is great because when you're done in the field you just can throw your dirty brushes in there take them home and wash them it doesn't get in your car especially if you have a new vehicle you don't want to get paint in it um, or option B which is a lot more fun and pretty uh, Mary Badges made this for me she is a phenomenal cloth artist and super friend of mine um, and you can put your brushes right in here when they're covered in paint right and then just roll it up and I put it on the top of my bag and this fits in the bag easier than this but this still would fit in the top if you'd rather use plastic um, these are really fun we I went over and sewed a bunch of flowers and stuff on it just to kind of customize it she put an eyeball where's the oh here they are see the eyes aren't those fun yeah she's pretty outstanding her Etsy shop is called scrap happiness by the way and she makes masks and bags and all kinds of cool stuff so you might want to check in with her um, the other thing I do not have up here I want to talk to you about is an umbrella and not for rain for sun glare on your board um, and on your palette and I tried every kind of umbrella. I even started with the cheap kind that could clip onto your easel. Don't do that. Just get a Shade Buddy. They're like 100 bucks. They're on sale sometimes for 80. Get a Shade Buddy. Shade Buddies are the bomb. And Mary Badges made me also a really cool custom bag for my Shade Buddy. So, anyways, my whole bag for the field, everything, fits on one in one bag on one shoulder just like this right my easel folds up I'm gonna actually I just leave this in here you don't have to ever take it out but I take mine out when I get home in the studio so this folds up my wet painting goes in here you don't need a million things in a big cart with wheels and all that stuff you trust me you don't then I'm done painting I'm gonna fold my easel up I ordered um, a leather strap online so it wouldn't hurt my shoulder, like a guitar strap or something. So my easel goes there, my bag goes here, and my board, you can either hold like this or you can even put it with a rubber band around the easel. And I'm ready to go in the field. Uh, I've got my muck boots and my gear. I'm ready to rock. I have really streamlined this process down to a minimal amount of things um, because, you know, we've walked miles out into the wilderness, into the woods to paint something. And you don't want a lot of weight and gear on you, especially if a snowstorm happens or something. And you want stuff you can break down real quick. So this is my little video on plain air painting supplies. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe. It's free. And thank you again to all my Patreon sponsors. Uh, thank you so much for believing in me. You're appreciated. So get your gear ready because we're going to start some road trips. We're going to be going in the field. The adventure will continue. Bye-bye.